Hi friends, welcome back. Today I have a great book by Eric Carl. It's called The Very Quiet Cricket. Once upon a time this book made sound, made sound rather, but uh, it doesn't anymore because we've read it so many times. But that's okay, because that's what books are for, right? Okay, there are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. And this is for Sally and Bob. And let's begin. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. How come? chirped the big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, was the locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled the spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. <laughs> the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, word of dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The end. Little picture.
picture on the back there. Looks like he found his uh, his friend. It's good, right? All right. A um, couple things. I don't know if you've seen this insect around. This was always one of my favorites growing up as a kid. I used to live in the Pine Barrens a long time ago, and I would see these like almost every day. I don't really see them much around here, although I did see it like two years ago on the window, and I was like, oh, wow, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. They're called a praying mantis, and they're pretty neat. Um, I... Heard my share of crickets, I'm sure you have too, so they're they're definitely around. But um, thanks for joining me, and uh, I hope to see you again soon, okay? Bye-bye.